All right. Welcome to Elst Outskirts, where we have two arranged team in a little bit of a skirmish here locked in. We got. Yeah, let me, I'll just get, put this away. We got in the yellow. It's Nico, my cousin. Let's go bowling. Playing as the Soviets and his teammate Isildur. Playing as good old Murakan, having already locked in Airborne Company. Going straight for Pathfinders. Mm -hmm. No riflemen first. Mm -hmm. And they're up against, in the red, it is Inca Una. Playing as over Commander Vest and his teammate, Helping Hans. And Isildur continues to go with the uh, Pathfinders. Hmm. We're gonna see Scott Finders, maybe. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's see. Nico bringing along with the Soviet combined arms, Scott mode, of course. Making nice support. No airborne. Hmm. Gonna leave it up to uh, Isildur to be the one who's airborne. And his teammate. Yeah, Isildur already having locked in that. Helping hands. German infantry. Spearhead and Storm Doctrine. And Inkauna is bringing along with him uh, Elite Armor, Scavenge and Special Operations. A little bit of shooting going on down here. Door has been blocked by barbed wire. Yeah, nothing going on over here. So back to the action. Any curious bulletins? Yes. There is actually, but Inkauna locked in special operations. Isildur, 5% more suppression for the 50 cal, all right. And then the Scott area denial, a powerful bulletin. I believe at vet free with this bulletin, there is only a four second cooldown on the barrage ability. So you can constantly barrage with the Scots. Here we see Inca Una uses the Kubel, trying to push the infantry. Oh, despite his best efforts, he didn't quite manage to disrupt the conscripts enough to prevent the wipe from happening. Can he get a kind of wipe here? Uh, no. Oh, that's rough. Oh well, at least the uh, conscripts aren't that car oh yeah that was a volk volk that died excuse me yeah 260 mm. detection detection detects them <laughs> oh man that's rough always rough to lose a unit early game at least it wasn't his stern pyros right let's check in with hans and Isildur here. I like Inca Una's command pick here because I hope we get to see some late game action with the command pa panther. Such a powerful unit with its aura. Not as powerful as it is. used to be. Back in the day it was like a one tank army. <laughs> But yeah, Captain for Isildur here. Okay. And he's unlocking the mechanized. Okay, gonna see an A half track maybe. Hans gone for sniper here. Has gotten one kill, so it has been revealed. Okay, yes, got a line of shot here, clearing out the garrison bit by bit. And also Hans coming down here to support in Kauna as by the time he went over there, he had this territory under his control, but now Isildur is here. But Isildur is also down here. <laughs> well, he was. Now he's running. <laughs> and a half track coming out for Isildur. Nico, he's got the flamethrower ready. I'll go, there's a little grenade down here trying to force them, sh shuffle them in their bit of cover here. 
But they're just gonna go up to this and voila! Back into. Oh, please don't lose another one. Kanate! Ooh, good stun grenade. Really allows this turn bios to move in and do uh, more damage. Also, Inca Una steps on a mine, but he has gone for battle group headquarters back in base. Which is a little curious. I thought in team games here he could skip it and go for Mechagnized instead. And then perhaps use the mid bunker of his ally, Hans's mid bunker, to get heals. But apparently he. He went battle group. Let's see how that's gonna pay off for him. Can we get a wipe here? Kubel gives chase, but cavalry has arrived. They don't go Oh yes, he gets it! And that Didn't he also carry a flamethrower? Like, did he go for double flamethrowers? See, here we go. Ambulance arriving, but these boys are going over here, not waiting for the ambulance. Just gonna get healed. And the weapon rack about to be unlocked. Let's see if we can find. Yeah, there it is. Half track. Getting a little bit of combat action. And meanwhile, over here, Hans. <laughs> backed up by Inkahuna's Kubelwagen in reverse seeks to take back this part of the map four kills on the sniper here he's not really been um, going crazy with the sniper probably fearing a counter sniper from Nico but that's not the case at least that we know of Schutzen. Boom. Oh boy. If the 222 keeps it up at this pace, it's gotta be forever before it actually earns some veterancy. <laughs> oh. A half track. Inches closer. It's got its cannon and a machine gun ready to punch some holes into this purple 222. 50 cal being airlifted onto the field for Isildur. And here we see Inkauna. He's just cleaning house, pushing Nico away. Still, still have a little bit of troop present here. And now Rakenworth on the field. Uh, the flag half track. Well, it seems a bit late for the half track. Just a bit late though, but oh well. Nico also having his own vehicle here, the T-70, which can easily destroy the half track if it's parked in a one-on-one -on -one fight but <sighs> but no I doubt it'll be staying park and there we go we also have the racket it's gonna be um, helping flag half track deal with the t70 here though the flag half track did uh, score a couple of rear armor shots anyway Let's check back in with Hans. He's just capping over here and he has locked in Storm Doctrine, calling in the Jaeger Command Squad. Grenadiers on the fire. Right, we got bar finders for Isildur. So, no souks on them, which is uh, quite a popular strategy. On uh, two, 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 well, two versus two auto match ladder games. Pathfinders with the Sukas and then Scots, and then your teammate can back you up with actual tank destroyers. Let's check in in the middle. 
Well, there's just sitting there. More action is actually happening. Down here. Oh, da -da 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 -da. it gets away. And close range barrage. Nico should be able to get the um, the Siskon to relative safety. But walking on negative cover here. Well, no models dropped, but lots of health damage. Here we go. Nico coming in from behind. Surprises Inkauna, and he is turning tail, running back. Keeps his uh, racket and warfare on the field in order to protect the vehicles here. Force will... Against a threat that's no longer present, as the A half-track and T-70 are far away. But you never know. Ah, uh, missed! <laughs> Try again. Ah, oh, too late. Instead, it's just gonna... Just gonna go over here and continue its barrage on this garrison here. Let's check up north. We have the 2-2-2 two -two -two engaged in combat. Takes down the captain, but not before his squad managed to secure the fuel. And looking at the map here, team allies definitely um, dominating on the map. Missed. There we go. Munitions will be secured. These boys. Oh, that's his own mine. <laughs> hmm. Did it not hit? No, it didn't. There we go. But man, this garrison here has seen better days. Though it looks fine from this angle, but at this angle, uh, not so much. Isildur got the Major on the field and helping Hans. Oh, the 2-2-2 is in trouble. Well, thankfully its armor did hold just enough to uh, get it out of there. Uh, mine triggered down here. This could be a wipe. Uh, conscripts. Not doing enough damage there. He lives to fight another day. At least the squad and ah, oh. retreat, retreat, retreat. Where is uh, Inca Unas? Ah, it's coming out of base. It's um, again where for? And oh boy, is it gonna go dive further? No, not any further now. That a yeah, an Adenwerfer for Hans. Panzer authorization in Kaguna with this Svara Panzer headquarters is down. And again, the fuel here falling into allies' hands. And isn't there going for uh, both a Scott and a pack? Um, pack howitzer, that is. Bringing the indirect fire into the game. Oh, cannot quite engage there. I don't think it'll be able to hit there, but a little bit of a brush in order to get the um, rocket going, going home. And Soviet Combined Arms has been selected for Nico. Up here, Hans is again fighting for the fuel control here. And now Nico is bringing in reconnaissance overflight, just getting an aerial overview of the situation. Grenade, grenade, Granatenwerfer, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Any snares happening? No. Thought it was within range, but uh, going hunting. The conscripts get out of there alive, and now. The false grenadiers attempting to replicate the success for running, retreating here on negative cover. <laughs> He's fine. And Rakenwerfer is. Yeah, it's back in base, getting healed, reinforced after uh, taking uh, that artillery barrage. 
And the Scott has revealed itself, already gotten its kill. <coughs> Four kills and counting. Even got the direct hit there on the flak. Oh, retreat further. Whoop. Hans is again trying to secure the fuel here, but Isildur has just been relentless in his attacks on the fuel point up here. Backed up by 80 guns as well. And bar finders here falls back. We have a little bit of a AT support. One hit. And it's safe. Major discovers the mortar, but yeah, they were not really properly trained in um, firing and aiming. They have been more uh, trained in uh, filling out forms and submitting papers on time. Gonna move up here with the pack gun. Hans is about to bring a. Um, a medium tank onto the field here, which is, uh, yeah, gonna be the first one, actually. Let's see here. Katusha on the field, double flamethrower it is. Combat engineer, retrained, re-equipped, fire, fire. Boom, goes lots of things. <laughs> and takes down the T-70 with the Rakitans. Okay. Let's check in over here where Isildur defends the VP. Hunting down a pack gun. Hans has secured the fuel for Team Axis. Sniper is not alone. He's got a 2 2 2. And probably uh, the P4 is also gonna come over here. A little side block here. We just lost a Pathfinder. And now a Howitzer? Okay, everything is just going boom. Wow. How did that? Was it really the pack gun? No. It wasn't the pack gun that got it. I'm guessing a telemine must have been planted there and took care of it. And yeah, stern pioneers killed. They died in the barrage. Wop, wop, wop. Hmm. Right, let's see if Inca Una he can make some pushes towards the, the fuel. It's only guarded by a couple of AT guns and a wounded conscript squad. But he is stopping here. He's okay, gotta get down those sandbags and continues to move in. Is there any help on the way to the fuel? Not really. And the AT guns falling back. Conscripts are awaiting a, a push here from Inca, but Inca going down here to the fuel anywho back to the middle flag half track doing its thing being the mobile suppression platform gunning down the lieutenant major he hasn't been demoted <laughs> but he is getting hurt a lot <laughs> fall back fall back and bazookas now on pathfinders okay uh, let's see over there. Yeah, got gunned down. And what a timing! Because the P4 here. Oh boy, of course. This just went down. Everything is pretty much blowing up. By the hands of Nico and his uh, double AT guns. Meanwhile, got a T34 on the field here since the Volksgrenadiers are running. And, um, yeah, I'm just getting a little bit of praise here. So, uh, thank you for that, Colt. Thank you for jumping in. <laughs> Should probably just, uh, set my status to invisible whenever I'm doing these casts. <laughs> Alright, bird in the sky. Just gonna get an aerial overview. Sadly, though, Nico, ha well, not Nico, Inca Una. Has just lost his um, 
AA half track would have been handy to shoot down that bird. And Inca not going for the this here. I've, that's a mistake, I'd say. Not putting it into a uh, prioritize aircraft mode. I know it's not as powerful as it used to be, but still, just tell it to shoot down the planes when there is no imminent threat of uh, it getting attacked by infantry or tanks. But I suppose Inca he was just busy elsewhere, I hope. <laughs> MG42. All right, he had gone for incendiary ammo. Or no, it was the ambush camouflage. That was the icon that we saw, giving it a little bonus when firing out of um, well, uh, out of ambush mode. There we go. It's a five-second. Um, Accuracy bonus, I believe it is, they get. Oh, look at this. 80 gun, right for the picking. Do have a Scott, brand new Scott, that is. Working on those kills and bang, bang, bang. That was the 2-2-2 two, two, two knocking on them. Grenade. Oh, <laughs> Drop the bar! Yes! Oh, who is he gonna go? These boys do not have a free weapon slot here. And we just lost something. I heard something that went boom. Not sure what it was. Oh, the 2 2 2. Still alive. Oh, that Scott shot! Scott shot! Bar has been picked up. <laughs> okay. Pew. Falling back a little bit here. Hans also have a little bit of smoke as um, this one here also provides sight. Rakeden. Inca Una coming over here to provide a little bit of AT support. And yes, it is indeed the Command Panther that we see. Yes. Keep this bad boy alive. And you will benefit immensely from it. Thanks to, again, its commanding aura. However, currently it's uh, earning most of the XP by taking a punishment. <laughs> but hey, through pain, you shall learn! Boom, shakalaka boom. Hans is bringing on a new vehicle to the field. It's good old regular P4. The workhorse of the austere army here. Doink, doink. It too ran into the double cis guns from Nico. How much uh, XP do they have? Well, one is double that. The other one is getting there. And Nico, he's just dug in here, waiting for uh, Inca Una. But Inca Una, he's not showing up. He d hasn't even called or written anything. Uh, he's running late. Come on, Inca. Chop, chop. You have a date with the Soviet Union. Lucky you. Oh, boy. We got mines. And Bigfoot steps onto the mine. Took down Hans in the field. And yeah, Pathfinder's killed. Isildur taking losses. <gasps> Captain also going down. And well, we got a decrewed AD gun. But let's see here. Bazooka picked up and dropped again. Why can't I hang on to all of these bazookas? Yeah, this one here has been decrewed. Pack gun goes in. Major even dies, please. Unit preservation, boys. And we got birds in the skies here. As Inca Unes in hot water here with his Command Panther! And he cannot even blitz out! At least his engine is still operational for the next five seconds! There we go, boom, boom, boom! 
Smoke coming in here provided by Hans. I don't think it's enough to save the command panther. <laughs> yes, we got AG guns up there. Uh, the, the, but, the, but the planes, the planes are hunting for the command panther. And Nico going in. He's gonna ram, 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 ram. Crew shock still alive. And uh, I think that was the last batch of uh, the Typhoon rockets or whatever they're called. Thunderbolts. Kubel still alive, detecting, also being under the influence of the Command Panther. <laughs> it's a mighty Kubelwagen. And through all that effort, it didn't even earn the red one. Oh, 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 lots of fire, lots of fire, lots of fire coming in. Oh, that's a dead. He's dead. He's dead. So dead. These boys here. Oh, dying in the rocket barrage. Ho, ho, ho. That was bad. A precious unit from Hans is down. Jackson! Still, the fighting is definitely concentrating in the uh, north and center as Inkauna is helping out over here, not really doing much on his, si his side of the map. Oh, you spin me around like a Panzerfeer! But he's blitzing! Here comes the Command Panther! Distracting the Jackson takes it down and now the AA half track is next Command Panther also having access to blitz now. Yeah Birds in the sky once again Oh Crash crash and Kuna Volksgrenadier is killed T-34 takes no prisoner and Yeah The other Volksgrenadier he's still running we can tell by the icon up there down to half health, the birds are doing damage, and there goes the 222. But here are the Obersoldaten, they find the pack gun. Oh boy, we just lost another one over here. What? Ah, there we go. There we go, and. Little bit of artillery since that raketen were for running. Command Panther getting repaired or should soon be. And Inca Una now getting out of Panzer IV Hans. Getting some more pioneers. That's a third pioneer squad for him. He is definitely in need of repairs. And we also have a half track or hat? Nope, still got it using it as a forward reinforcement platform also it benefits from the command panthers leadership improved speed sight there goes that mortar are we gonna watch them die lmg unloads or not a little bit of negative cover there but the guy he makes it wow uh, isildur's armor have scattered around the field in pieces Nico however double katushas and two t-34s and ink una is now pressing on on the left side of the map a little bit of AT there but again we're ready to fire this t-34 has been to better places but another one strikes here no snare available Opus Soldaten not carrying that, but hey, Ken Werfer helping out. And the Sis guns here, one of them being vet free. Woo! Hans strikes! He just popping in unannounced, takes down the T 34 and now hits a mine. But he's going hunting here for the Sis gun. They are trying to deliver a knockout blow, I assume. 
And there goes one of the Katushas as... Well... These guys, they don't break for anyone! Ouch! And now it's the ambulance taking a bit of punishment here. Still alive though. Yeah, Captain dies all the way up there. As allies, they are scrambling in order to get a... Uh, just a hint of control over this situation here. Jackson on the field now. Siskun getting destroyed. The P4 still operational despite its engine damage. Jackson on the field, there goes the ambulance. Medics are still alive though. VP wise, it's looking pretty bad though for Axis, but um, man, what a punch they delivered. <sighs> and a little bit of flare action. Come on, Jackson. Shoot! Come on! It missed. Looks like Team Axis are pulling back. They're gonna lick their wounds, get the repairs, reinforcement done. Whereas the Allies, they are um, still recovering from the shock of that Blitzkrieg move. How about the resource situation here for the Allies? The fuel reserves have been spent. And they don't have any fuel point to them, to their name at the moment. Nico is working on it. Jackson here. About to be greeted by yet another P4 from uh, Inca Una. Hans is pretty much pop capped, which is more than you can save for team allies. Even if you combined their armies, they wouldn't be pop capped. That's how bad the situation uh, has become after that devastating push. That was some mighty fine Blitzkrieg from uh, Team Axis. Now, I wonder what will happen. Yeah, see, the tanks have been repaired and they may just be ready for round two. Pathfinder's killed. Yeah, this Jackson here is going down. Ready for round two? No, that's the spirit. Oh boy, Sisguns, yeah. All the tanks are just pouring in. Vet free pack on can do diddly against that. I'd say it's game over here. As Hans and Inkauna delivers the knockout blow. First attempt didn't quite get it. Second attempt. Oh yes, I do believe Isildur has nothing left. Nico. Mm, it's getting an SU-85, but I think this is just GG. An SU-85 would be their only AT and along with a two bazooka and there it is the surrender the sweet sweet surrender holy moly that was a good game and i and i hope you enjoyed it as well don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, dislike the video if you disliked it but man this was a good one and i'll see you tomorrow unless you want to look at some stats here for the game Oh, that's pretty rough. I know that the vehicle crew also counts towards the units lost. But man, this is... That's pretty bad. However, Nico, despite going for conscripts, almost had a one-to-one -one KD. Nico Una with a negative KD as well. Hmm. Helping hands, however, 
completely dominating here in terms of uh, killing and units lost. Wow. Graphs. Graphs. Nico took a nose dive here. That was the, the first Blitzkrieg here. Then trying to rebuild, but then the second one came in and yeah. See, at the time of this Blitzkrieg here, barely any dent within their army value for um, for the Axis team. <clears throat> resource float being resource float. Look at all this spaghetti points here. Let's see. Axis. And we can try to add this. Yeah. Nico really um, contributing a lot to, uh, to the map control. He really had um, a firm grasp on this area here for um, most of the match, I'd say. Anyway, uh, units starting off with the Ilsildur. He rebuilt the captain. I didn't notice. Hmm. But yep. Yeah. And moving on to Nico. Only three types of uh, infantry and three types of vehicles here. Talk about a core army. Contrast, combat engineers, AT guns, and a little bit of tanks. What else do you need? Who needs cis guns and mortars? Bah! Guards! <laughs> Don't be silly. Moving on to Monsieur Helping Hans. Not that he's French. And his units. The pioneers actually took the most damage from the pack howitzer. <laughs> Sniper, most damage taken from Katusha. What a way to go. But yeah, moving on to Ingona. Obersoldaten did make it throughout the game. So yeah, I think that's it. Kubelwagen also surviving. Nice. Uh, well, anywho, that's it. See you later, alligator.